next Marshall A. No way. Oh! Monday morning afternoon with the M M A O. M-M-A-Holes. What's up, fucks? How's it going today? I hope everyone's wonderful. Wonderful! Wonderful, wonderful. That's right. Banana, banana. Monday, 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 Monday. What's going on, guys? How's it going? It is Monday afternoon, 12.03 p.m. over here, New York, New York. I hope everyone's good today. We're doing the Ariel Hawani P pre PP pre-show. And it is glorious and wonderful, wonderful on this lovely day. I hope everyone had a great weekend. I hope everyone's excited because we have a new fresh week that started and a new fresh fight week. We are recovering from UFC 212 and uh, that was fun. That was a good time. And now we're going on to a new weekend of new fun-filled stuff. As usual, in the description, I have the link to the Ariel Hawani MMA Hour where you can't live chat. But here you can. Where are you? Right in there. You could live chat in there and have a great, a grand old time. Now, I don't like to promote dislikes, but we're trying to make a statement here. So go on over to the Ariel Hawani channel. Drop a thumbs down until he opens that live chat back up. If you notice over there, the live chat, well, it's not happening. It's MIA. And um, there's a lot of uh, dislikes on the channel. It's not because they hate Ariel Hawani's content. It's because they stripped us of the live chat. Without a live chat, there is no MMA hour. But with a live chat, there is an MMA Holes. Now check out over here. Here is the MMA Holes living room. And on today's show, they have Brian Keller, Jimmy Manoa, Alexander Gustafson, Roy Jones Jr., Frankie Edgar, uh, Demetrius Johnson, Mark Kuntz. And um, they'll probably have some uh, special guests. They always have someone like pop in. And have a uh, spectacular appearance last minute. Google Zoom it. And there it's a little closer. So in the description, I pretty much have the breakdown of what's going on on the MMA Hour. And there is the link to the MMA Hour. As soon as this fucker winds down, you could go right on over there and say hello. Well, you can't. You could just watch. But you could watch the Ariel Hawani show and have fun and a wonderful, wonderful time. We've got 10 more likes. Boom! Banana, diaper John dances for likes. Mm-hmm. I've got ten more likes. I've got ten more likes. I've got ten more likes. Fuck you, dislikes. Four. I've got ten more likes. I've got ten more likes. I've got ten more likes. I hope the dislikes die of AIDS. AIDS. That's right. The dislikes will die of AIDS, and we have four AIDS victims right off the bat. That's, that's nice. Very nice. We have 22 watching. If you are new to this, well, subscribe because we do this weekly. Before the MMA hour, we talk about, we discuss who would we like to see and what we would like them to say on Ariel Hawani's show. Now, this is not a bashing Ariel Hawani show, but it may be a bashing Luke Thomas show. Uh, Ariel Hawani, I actually like his work. I like the way he interviews the fighters. I like the guys that he gets on. And he always gets the important guys on and gals on after certain events or controversies. And we're going to go through their little set list of fighters and guests. So um, stay tuned as I tickle your penises and vaginas. Google Zoom in it. Get a little closer. All right. This weekend, we had Max Holloway versus Jose. Let's go back. Come on. Go back, you fuck. Go back. Oh, fuck me. Fuck me in the ass. There we go. Jose Aldo versus Max Holloway. We're checking out UFC.com where we get our swole info. And they do a good job over there breaking down the fights with the live stats and all that fun fun stuff. This fight here, Jose Aldo versus Max Holloway was lit. The UFC 212 card wasn't, uh, it wasn't all that. It was okay. It was all right. I mean, it was good, but it was, it was top heavy. It was very top heavy. So what I want to do here is just go through some of the stuff on UFC 212. A brief recap. We're going to look at Ariel Hawani's set list. We're going to talk about some topics because we have a song. When we talk about the topics, it goes like this. Topics. 
Ben and Ben Ben Topics Ben and Ben Ben Topics 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 Dysfunctional stuff going on on a Monday Let's get this party started Wipe the crud out of your eyes and we're gonna get going now, here is the MMA Holes living room, where we have some members of the MMA Holes. This room is getting more swole by the day, with Craig Lee, the Fort, Diaper John, myself, Jesse Bell Hill, V-Neck, the Pigeon. There is char- characters of the MMA Holes splattered across this room and wall, and uh, it is wonderful, wonderful. So, you motherfuckers, if you guys want to be on this wall, we'll just hang out with the boys, and you guys, maybe one of you guys, will be one of the next... People to hang with the boys. Hang with the boys! On the MMA Holds living room wall. All right, let's look through this fucker. Well, first, let's check out the chat. I miss you guys. All right, let's see who we got in the chat. Live chat is activated, and it's sexy and swole. Jeff Roberts' Mark Hunt on roids would be epic. <laughs> it really would be, right? Wonderful, Imagine? wonderful. That'd be a twist in the storyline. Tommy Arnold, Jesus Christ, Happy Days, George Sampras, Mexican Deicide. Oh, my God. Look at all you fucks hanging out with the boys on a Monday afternoon. Jeff Roberts. Mm Mm-hmm. And George Sampras. Yes, yes, yes. Look at all you guys. Keep that chat room going and flowing because we like to hang with you guys. Chucky was the only father figure George had growing up. (laughs) Wonderful, wonderful. (laughs) Oh, God. I don't think we'll ever get to see a revelation of George Sampras' face, but that's fine. I don't care. I encourage non-faces to be here. I don't give a fuck. As long as you're hanging with the boys... And the gals, it's all that matters. All right. So right over here, uh, there is a guest that's going to be on Ariel Hawani's show. He's, he's starting up the show, and it's Brian Keller. And Brian Keller fought a guy named Yuri Alcantara. They fought. Brian Keller upsetted and uh, choked out uh, the uh, Brazilian hometown favorite. And the crowd went crazy, and he's going to be on there. So that's a story from the prelims. I'm going to blast into over here. Uh, Silva versus Medeiros. That fight went down. K-O-T-K-O. A lot of controversy. Controversy with this fight. And I would like to get this uh, party started in the chat room this way. What's up, Carl Jones? I'll see you. I would like to get the party started this way. Um, This fight here, I need to know in the chat, which one of you motherfuckers thought that this fight was stopped early? I'm going to tell you right now, I was bitching and complaining about it. Some people are like, well, don't complain. You're not in the cage. You're not the ref. Blah, blah, blah. I usually don't like to fucking uh, behead a ref. But let's be honest. That was an early stoppage, in my opinion. Not saying that Yancey wasn't going to win, but it just didn't seem like it was the right stoppage. I just didn't feel it. It's one of those things where it's like, ah, I, I, it's still kind of going. What do you guys think about this fight? If you did see it, if you did give a shit, there's Luke Thomas. There's the Google Zooms. Let me know in the chat, what the fuck do you guys think? Early stoppage or uh, they stopped it at the correct time? Let me know right now in that fucking chat, right? Wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, today, I always have the Monday morning phlegm throat. It's so ridiculous. I should start the show going, me, 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 la, 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 la. But I always get, like, backed up. Maybe it's the fucking coffee. I don't fucking know. Drink your coffee, kids. 17 likes in a tip jar. And look, we made some new fucking friends. We have 1,325 subscribers over here in the MMA holes. We're just getting stronger and swoller on a Monday afternoon Ariel Helwani P pre-show. That's right. Let's see what we got over here. Early stop, which is Mexican. The Mexican says one. Early as Fook, says Jeff, Jeff Roberts. Happy Day says me. A tad early, yes, yeah, says Tommy Arnold. Eric Silva is a cuck, says George Sampras. Wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> uh, quit that BBC, George. It's old-fashioned. Tommy Arnold says one. So I'm assuming Tommy Arnold saying... Early, yeah, he said it earlier already. Okay, Connor B says, that left hook was beautiful, but it was way early, especially for a warrior like Silva. So there you go. Yeah, let's, let's, listen. Yancey fucking popped him, man. He popped him good. And uh, Silva went flying. He got cracked. And, you know, he was hurt, but he wasn't done. Like, you could tell he was there. He was still there. Uh, Aaron Meadows. <laughs> wonderful, Aaron wonderful. Meadows gives the finger up and the wonderful, wonderful. That's right. Now, if you guys want uh, a T-shirt, we're doing a giveaway from the Fight Buddies video, UFC 212, two videos back. So the rules are in the description. You guys follow the rules. You drop the wonderful, wonderful there. 
And you have the ability of winning a swole sexy shirt. This is one of the shirts. We have a whole bunch of shirts. And you can win a shirt and I'll send it to your house. I will actually deliver it myself naked with um, whipped cream on my penis. I know you guys want that. Uh, let's see. Uh, they stopped Max from killing Jose, says Tommy Arnold. Yeah, I mean, god damn, Max is killing him. Uh, correct. Correct tomb, says uh, Chu, Chui Marufu. Maru, Marufu. I'm fucking your name up. Sorry, my friend. Uh, time. Oh, correct time. So, correct time. So, correct time? What the fuck are you talking about? New faces in this bitch. Yeah, there are. We made some new friends. Some swole friends. Welcome, new friends, to the MMA holes. You made a wise decision hanging with the boys. Hey, you with the boys. <laughs> this channel is growing like George Sampras's uterus. <laughs> this is Mexican D's side. All right, so it looks like the majority agrees with Mystic Moss. I like when everyone agrees with me, so I don't have to smack people around. But we got 10 more likes. Yes, swell it up. 10 more likes. Fuck the dislikes. We make Diaper John dance, yes. I've got 10 more likes. Dance, I've you got fuck. 10 more likes. I've got 10 more likes. Fuck you, dislikes. I've got 10 more likes. Like this video. I've got 10 more likes. I've got 10 more likes. I hope the dislikes die of age. Yes. 21 likes. 21 swole likes on a Monday. High energy. For the MMA holes over here as you fill this jar up with cum. I don't know what that fucking means. Anyway. Anyway. Wonderful, wonderful. Let's go around. All right. This fight here was fucking crazy, man. Bangbos was fucking nuts. Unorthodox. Slapping people around. Being a swole motherfucker. And then Paolo's like, all right, I had enough. Boom. See you later. Good stuff. That was really good stuff. This one here. Next debate. For the MMA holes, Vitor Belfort versus Nate Marquardt. Now, guys, I did get three of my five picks right, and this is one of them, all right? Now, here's the deal with this fight. I need to know from you guys, who do you think really won this fight? Now, these are the unofficial stats over here we're looking at. Here's round one, round two, round three. Now, you can never go for these unofficial stats. I kind of, I kind of don't agree I mean, I kind of don't disagree with the refs in this one. I um, I did pick Belfort, yes. It was super duper close. Close. I thought by a, a split, like a cun hair, Belfort got the decision. That's what I felt. Honestly, like, true is fucking anything. But if Nate Marquardt got the win, I would have not been upset in any way. Because it was very close. That first round was super close. The unofficial stats don't really say much. If you really rewatch it... It was a close, close fight. It could have went either way in that fight. Let me know what you guys think about the decision. How pissed off are you about that decision? Because apparently a lot of people are furious, you know, and saying Nate Marquardt should have got the decision. You never leave it to the du judges, the Ducks. You never leave it to the Ducks. But, hey, um, it happened. It went to the decision, and it was uh, Vitor Belfort for the win. Um, let me know in the chat what you think about that. I'm not super upset with the... Well, I did pick Vitor. Maybe I'm biased, but I did score it for Vitor. I did think Vitor did win by a split, 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 like, like, like a little blue hair. What do you guys think in the chat? A lot of people did express discomfort with that. Uh, bang bros. Let me bang bros, says Max Boogie. Diaper John wasn't here last time because I arrested his ass, says George Zampras. John, what do you have to say about that? Wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> Maxine D side says, yeah, baby Jesus, I'm over it. I'm really, really fighting the urge to roast her. I'm worried. I know what you're talking about. You're talking about a certain Jesse Bell Hill. We need to have her on. We need to have her on Friday and discuss all the drama that's going on. Jesus Christ. Some crazy stuff within the MMA holes. Uh, let's see what you got. Fucking Max, you be straight cuck when she's around. I fucking... Oh, okay, here we go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I, uh, Mark, oh, here we go. Connor B says, Mark Hart should have won. But Vitor was the main draw for Brazil, so not surprised they gave it to him. Now, I've said that during the stream, actually. A lot of times, the hometown team gets the win, gets the decision. So the judges could have been like, ah, it's so damn close. Let's give it to the hometown guy, which it's a possibility. Tommy Arnold says, I say Nate did more. I can't argue with you. Happy Day says, Nate was robbed, but who gives a fuck? <laughs> Uh, it's not like any of them would have uh, be top contender. No, happy days. You're right. You're right. No one really gives a shit, except for the Brazilian crowd and the people that actually 
bet money on that shit show. Uh, cutting hair for Nate, says Tommy Arnold. So Tommy Arnold says the cutting hair decision goes to Nate. Jesse Bell Hills uh, is uh, ducking us. Nate, who? Connor retired him, says Jesus Christ. Connor, is this true? Yes, sir. Oh, my God. Connor agrees. Jesse Bell Hill, brother, like a straight gay boy. Oh, my God. Making fun of Jesse Bell's poor brother. He served for this country. All right. I don't know what's going on. So new viewers right now, welcome to the MMA Holes Live. We're doing this, a pre-show to Ariel Hawani. I'm brushing through this, sh- I was going to say swole, but not so much. UFC 212 card, it was good. I don't hate the card. I actually liked, boom, this fight. Now, okay, a lo- everyone in their mother picked Claudia Godella, except for a select few that picked Carolina, and unfortunately, I was one of the few. Um, I thought Carolina would have been able to stuff them takedowns. Claudia proved that when she drags you to the floor, it doesn't matter who you are, you're in deep shit. And Claudia got the win on that one. So much respect to Claudia. I still don't think Claudia has the the stuff to uh, get to JJ. I don't think that's going to happen. And let's be honest. Claudia versus Rose is the fight. That is the fucking fight. A lot of people are calling me up and says, does Claudia get a rematch for the third time? And that's why she's not getting Joanna right away. She fought her twice and lost to her twice. So Claudia Rose, let's do it. Let's see it. Let me know if you guys want to see that Claudia versus Rose or do you want to see Claudia versus JJ uh, as the next fight? Give me Claudia Rose, man. That's what I want. Let's go to the main event of the evening. Jose versus Max. Holloway, Jose versus Max Holloway. Well, that was a fucking fight. That was a fucking fight. Max Holloway, Jose Aldo, they threw down. Jose Aldo was kicking the shit. He was doing, he was just fucking doing it, man. He was working it. Everything was landing. He was confident. He was in the pocket. You could see that killer look into his eyes. But this was the difference in the Jose Aldo, Max Holloway fight. This was the fucking difference. Jose Aldo doesn't have the fucking knuckle sandwich power to put away Max Holloway. I was going to say Holiday. Max Holloway was eating those punches. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, you're hitting me good. You're hitting me good. And then he looks. You see a look. You see a turning point in Max Holloway's face. And he looks at Aldo. And he's like, you don't have the pop to knock me out. Keep doing what you're doing, buddy. So what does Aldo do? He starts fucking chucking the knees, too. Cracking him in the jaw at the knees. Bang. Holloway's like, ah. Oh shakes it off looks at aldo and says you motherfucker your knees are not even strong enough to knock me out and what does aldo holloway do well he waits he goes swole he weathers the storm and he fucking drops aldo onto the floor gets on top of him multiple times and bludgeons his fucking scarred face into the mat max holloway gets the win takes control of the 145 pound weight class. Let's forget about Connor, guys. Let's take Connor out of the picture. Connor, where are you? You're right there. Connor, listen, I know you're done with 145. I know you're done possibly with the UFC with this whole fucking boxing shit. I hope you do come back, by the way. But Connor, listen, there is a new sheriff in town right now, and 145 is Max Holloway. The question now is this Who will fight? Max Holloway next. Well, I said I had an answer right away. As soon as Holloway won, there was a certain Jersey boy that was sitting back and was like, yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, motherfucker. And that Jersey boy is Frankie Edgar, the answer. This was like his, it was like his birthday for Holloway to win this fight. Holloway beats Aldo, gives Frankie Edgar the chance to come in there and go for the belt yet another time against another opponent. This is Frankie Edgar's biggest chance ever. Fascinating fight between Frankie Edgar, Max Holloway. The question is, fellas and ladies and gentlemen and fucking dogs and shit faces, whatever the hell you guys are, whatever. The question to you guys is this. Do you want to see that fight? At 145, who should fight Max Holloway? Well, clearly you know my answer. Who do you think should fight Max Holloway for that strap? There's a lot of names that could be thrown into that that hat, but I'm going with the answer. What do you guys say? In the chat, Max versus question mark. Who do you have? 34 viewers watching this swole MMA whole show. 
Now, Ariel Hawani, well, if you want to see his show, all you have to do is go into the description. Let me take you there. Go into the description, and I have the lineup of the show, and I have the link. You could click on that link, and you could teleport your stupid ass right into that fucking chat. Well, there's no chat into the show. There's no live chat. So remember, drop a dislike. Dislikes for the live chat. What do you guys think about Max Holloway, Jose Aldo, and who should be next? Carl Jones says Edgar. Easily. He just says Edgar. Max Boogie says, I should have phrased that better. Mm -hmm. I should have phrased a lot of things better, but who gives a fuck? The whole show, you need head movement when you listen to me. Head movement! 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 All right. Happy Day says Frankie Edgar needs his title shot. He's had a million of them. And I think he's going to get it again. Uh, Makes takes too many punches to the head. Makes. You say Max? Uh, Max was uh, fucking throwing them hands. Max is a fun dude to watch. I love watching Max Holloway fight. Uh, willingly. Uh, Olympia Lowlife says Max uh, will beat Edgar. And that's not a bold statement. But it's a fascinating fight. Because if you look at what Aldo did to um, Frankie Edgar... If you look how Aldo kind of dismantled him, uh, Max Holloway's a different fighter, and Max Holloway does eat a lot of shots. The question is, will Frankie Edgar be able to suck his ass to the ground? If Frankie sucks Max to the ground, you get a whole new ball game there. It's a whole new situation. Look what Frankie did to Yair Rodriguez, who is a fucking brilliant striker. Now, maybe some people say he's, he's overrated. Some people say Yair is just, you know... He's too young. They, they force-fed him too quick to these top dogs. But regardless, Yair is a pretty damn good fighter, and Frankie dismantled him. So Edgar versus Holloway is a fascinating mass, matchup to me, at least. And that's all that really matters, in my opinion, right? <laughs> all wonderful, right. wonderful. Uh, did Marlon pass out on the toilet again? Yes, she did. All right, so Tommy Arnold says, Cub or Frankie? All right, so a lot of people will be throwing Cub's name into the hat. I don't think Cub is going to be there, but a lot of people will be throwing his name out there. Frankie is too small for featherweights, says Max Boogie. George Sampras says, Did I saw that. Max Boogie says he belongs at Bantam, in my opinion. Yeah, you're not the only one that b- believes that. Brian Blaze says Frankie because he beat Swanson, but Swanson should get the shot eventually. Now, Swanson is there. I think he's one away. I think Swanson is one away. Give Swanson, Swanson one more big win, and he's there. But a lot of people say, hey, he's a veteran. He should be. Give him the chance and the shot. I think he's one away. Plus, he went five rounds with fucking Artem Lobov, for God's sakes, guys. Remember that. Five fucking rounds. That doesn't say, hey, let's go for it. Get, give him a title shot. Uh, even though Artem's the GOAT. Artem is the GOAT, right? Yes, sir! <laughs> uh, let's see. Give it to Cub. Edgar has had so many title shots. He has. He has. But the problem is he keeps on. He's like, Edgar is reminding me, even though, but Edgar has been victorious multiple times, um, has had the strap, but he's like a Uriah Faber that has won the belts. It's bizarre. People forget that Frankie Edgar's a champ. He's a fucking former champ. So that's why he gets the exception. That's why he gets them shots. Uh, Connor B, give it to Cub. Edgar has too many title shots. Uh, Happy Day says Max never fought Frankie, and Cub got his ass whooped by both Frankie and Max. There you go, Happy Days. There you go. I believe Max versus Doohoo Choi would be spectacular. And I agree. And so does Connor. Yes, sir! Max wins against Edgar Bitches, says uh, George Sampras. So George Sampras is guaranteeing a win. Jeff Roberts is Max being, beating up old men <laughs> one fight at a time. Get him a young, swole individual. <laughs> Hype beast. Hashtag. Wonderful, wonderful. I think Tony... Whoops, I lost you. Uh, I think Tony Ferguson should fight Max. Uh, Tony versus... Oh, man. Max goes up, fights the Tony. Yeah, it'll be fucking great. Don't, you never know. Down the road, you never fucking know. Olympia, I don't want to see, come on, man. The only the only time I want to see another crossover between belts is Joanna at uh, to the new 125 weight class. That's the only one I can accept right now with these belt crossovers. I don't even want to see the TJ versus Mighty Mouse shit. We're going to be talking about Mighty Mouse in a sec, by the way. Oh, don't, don't worry. We're going to be talking about Mighty Mouse in a fucking hot minute, but I just want to go past this real quick. Uh, Max is only 25 years old. He's still a young buck. He really is. Mark Hunt versus Holloway. Well, look at this motherfucker. Brock Arnold, welcome to the MMA holes. You are wonderful, wonderful. Now, remember, in the description, you could go down 
You can go down on me, and you can link yourself right into the Ariel Hawani show right after this. So, weather the storm, and you could go to Ariel Hawani where you're not allowed to talk. Mark Hunt versus Holloway. Make it happen, Dana, says Jeff Roberts. Wonderful, wonderful. Edgar versus Max Aldo versus Cub, says Hydrostatic. Uh, Jesus says Olympia probably do who will get one, two victories and then make it. Happy Days says Chris Aldo beat Frankie when he was on the juice. I guarantee Frankie will beat Aldo now. He has no power. Uh, you know what? Here's the debate with that. Let's talk about this real quick with uh, Jose and the juice. A lot of people are talking about, yeah, Aldo's on the juice, blah, blah, blah. Did you see him walk into the cage on Saturday? I mean, he must have maintained some of that juice because the dude was just, he was shredded. So, I mean, I don't know. I, I do believe that Aldo probably was on juice. I do, I do believe that. I also believe that a lot of fighters were probably dabbling in his stuff. So it is what it is. It was like the baseball era with steroids. It's just the same thing with, with fucking MMA. It's the same shit. Aldo looks shredded. Uh, someone brought up the point that Vitor was on the juice, and now look at him. So look at how Vitor's deflated now, and Altor is still, Aldo is still Altor. Aldo is still shredded. I don't know. Steroids are steroids. I, I don't think too much into Aldo being on steroids, but you never know. You never fucking know. Regardless, I still think right now, I still think Aldo still beats Edgar. I really, I think it's like a matchup problem between Aldo and Edgar. I think that's the problem right there. It's just a huge matchup problem. But Edgar seems like he's got a lot of other people's numbers. Al Edgar versus Holloway is a fucking fun one, man. That's a fun one. Don't sleep on that fight. That fight's going to be sick. I love the rejuvenation of Frankie Edgar. He always finds ways to bring himself back into business. All right. We have 51 watching an Ariel Helwani P pre-show. Welcome. And if you're new to this, subscribe. We're going to do a live show on Wednesday. Thursday, I announced the winner to the giveaway. So if you want to know about the giveaway, you go back to the UFC 212 video, the Fight Buddies video. In the description, I have how to enter. And you could have a swole MMA Holes t-shirt. Now, this is an eat, drink MMA shirt. And we have all other shirts over there in our MMA Hole store. Welcome to the new show. You have just stumbled on a show that's about to take over the world. Here's the MMA Holes living room, and there I am talking. All right, so we talked about UFC 212. Let's move on. This weekend, we have Mark Hunt versus Derek Lewis. That's right. This weekend, it's going down. It's sexy. It's swole. All right, get ready. Fight night. Now, Mark Hunt, I, uh, Mark Hunt is he's a badass. He's about 40, what, three years old? I don't even know. How, how old is Mark Hunt? Let's look. He's got to be like 40. Or 43. Let's see. We look. Mm. Fucking 43 years old. Much respect to Mark Hunt. Guy's a fucking animal. Fighting the Black Beast, who I predicted to be heavyweight of 2017. And uh, it's looking fucking good. This guy's looking real good. I always get amped up for the Derek Lewis fights. So this fight night is like a pay per view night for me. So you be better be damn straight and damn, damn sexy that I'll be doing a fight buddies for this shit. Check it out. Mark Hunt, Derek Lewis, I am in. Brunson versus Kelly. That's a fucking fun one. Another old man versus a youngster, which should be good. Brunson Kelly is a fucking, it's going to be a lit fight. Yo, Dan Kelly, what a run this guy's going on. And what, he's, I think he's 40 on the button, if I'm not mistaken. 39. All right, so I, I aged him a year by accident. Sorry, Dan. Apologies. But, um, yeah, Kelly versus Brunson. We have a hooker. A fucking hooker is going to be fighting. That's great. Versus Ross Pearson. Another one. Now, Ross Pearson's another one. He's been around forever. He seems like he fought a million fucking times. Seems like he's about 60 years old. He's only like 31 or 32. We're guessing ages right now. 32 years old. So not so bad. But this guy's got a lot of mileage on him. But who gives a fuck? Ross Pearson always brings it. So I'm in. Tim Elliott. What the fuck? I love Tim Elliott. This guy's awesome. I'm in. All right. And there's the rest of the shit. We got fucking. We got some. We got some shit here. 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 All right. So fight night. What? I'm in. So that's going to be happening this weekend. Tomorrow night, we will be talking a little bit more about uh, fight night. Not tomorrow night. Wednesday night. Fuck. I don't know my days. Wednesday, we'll be talking about uh, more about the fight night this weekend. We also will be doing a recap of the Ultimate Fighter. Now, the last Ultimate Fighter episode was pretty fucking entertaining. I have to say, I, didn't, I don't like the season at all. But the last one was the best of the bunch. 
So let's see if they keep on rolling. Let's see if they got my attention. I'll be doing a full recap on that. And our Wednesday shows, our weekly Wednesday shows are where it's at. So definitely be subscribed. Click the bell next to the subscribe so you get the alert. When we go live, we start up this fucking chat room and we go sexy and crazy. <laughs> Connor B says, black piece in this hoe. Gonna KO hunt in, in one, says uh, Connor B. I wouldn't be surprised. Mr. Hands versus uh, Vi Cavillo. That's what George Samper says. Ole, 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 ole. Says, it would be funny if USADA came in and ruined this fight. <laughs> you talking about the Mark Hunt fight? Uh, what's up, Craig Lee? Uh, you late, brother? Craig Lee in the fucking house. Olympia Lola says, be right back. Look at this. OG MMA holes mixed with new blood, and I fucking love it. Welcome, new people, and welcome back to the old school friends of the MMA holes. I love you all, motherfuckers, and you all are wonderful, wonderful. That's wonderful, right. wonderful. Jesus Christ with emojis for days. All right. We stream gay porn, Gary. Gary Cooper, MMA host chat. Enjoy. So right inside here is the cringiest live chat on YouTube. And you guys are fucking funny as hell. I watched a little bit of our UFC 212 stream. And God damn, it was fucking funny. The donations, Frank Bavon and Craig Lee. I read back the donations. I fucking laughed my balls off. When you do make a donation, definitely write something on there because... God damn, it's funny, man. It's so funny hearing that girl read it out. It's, it's, it cracks me up every time. All right, so let's go to the Zooms. And let's look at Ariel Hawani's guest list right now. That's me. That's me pointing at a, at a phone. All right, so Brian Keller, we spoke about him. He bursted onto the scene, and he made a splash in Brazil. He submitted a Brazilian, and uh, Ariel Hawani will be talking to him about it. Jimmy Manoa is the second guest. This should be an interesting one because you know there's going to be a lot of shit talking with Jimmy Manoa. Let me know in the chat, what do you want from the Jimmy Manoa interview? Do you want Jimmy Manoa to be talking some shit to Daniel Cormier? Do you think that Daniel Cormier will be doing a surprise call-in? Because now here's the thing. Daniel Cormier and Ariel Hawani are pretty tight. And uh, Gary Coop, welcome friend. Uh, Daniel Cormier and uh, Ariel Hawani are pretty tight, so I wouldn't be surprised if Ariel had a little fucking surprise for Jimmy Manoa and had DC in the back pocket to call in while M Manoa is on. That would be fucking fantastic. What would you like to, to see from this interview with Manoa and Ariel Hawani? Let me know now. Welcome, new friends, and thank you for making me dance with my, uh, my two lovely ring girls. That's right. Dan Kelly should be able to uh, negate Brunson's wrestling. I've been picking Daniel Kelly like his last three fights. I've been high on Daniel Kelly, so watch out for the man. The guy, he's so weird. He's so awkward, but the fucking guy wins. Uh, what the fuck is this? Oh, here we go. Uh, Daryl Pavey says, what the fuck is this fake shit? Come on, man. Get your own fans. Get off MMA hours dick, bro. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I have my own fans. And they're over here. And they're not fans. They're MMA holes. Now, we are the fucking MMA holes. We are the trolls of the internet that talk about MMA. We are not afraid of reading this live chat and hanging with the live chat. And hanging with the fucking boys. Hanging with the boys. So listen, Daryl Pavey, you fuck. Subscribe to the channel and jump on the bandwagon while we're young. I am not leeching off of anything right now. I am doing a pre-show to a show that I like. I put a link in the description. You could go over there and you could see your Ariel Hawani show, which I will be watching too, because I am a fan of Ariel Hawani. I watch his stuff. Not killing, no hate. Now drop a dislike until he opens the live chat. You fuck. Anyway, I have a feeling one of the AIDS victims is is uh, Daryl Pavey. It's a rest in peace, my friend. The real MMA hour could suck a dick, says KMX 193. That's right. Tell them. Wonderful, wonderful. No live chat? Fuck them. Yes. They got they, they stripped us of our live chat. What the fuck? This is the real MMA hour, says Ari uh, Jesus Christ. Yes. Wonderful, Tell wonderful. Dow, you seem salty for some reason. Yeah. He probably didn't get his, uh, his cock in his ass today. Probably missed out on it. Anyway, it is what it is. Hey, Daryl, guess what? We have 30 likes, so you go fuck yourself because we got 10 more likes. Let's get Funk Dow's mom in the chat. Here we go. Salty motherfucker. -da 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 -da. I've got 10 more likes. I've got 10 more likes. I've got 10 more likes. Fuck you, dislikes. Fuck the dislikes. I've got 10 more likes. 
I've got ten more likes. I've got ten more likes. I hope the dislikes die of AIDS. We have seven AIDS victims. We have 64 watching the MMA holes live. This is the Ariel Hawani MMA Hour pre-show, P-show, whatever you want to call it. That's what it is. And uh, it is what it is. Welcome, new friends. Thank you for the likes. I enjoy all of your likes. And you guys are wonderful, wonderful. Vandalay says, suck my balls. Well, or you could say, lick my balls. Lick my yeah. balls. That's right. <laughs> KMX 193 is having a good time, and that's good. You got to be careful. That's right. Everyone's got to be careful. Double bag it when you're watching this fucking show. We fear no one over here. We have, we have fucking killers in the chat. You guys don't know who you're fucking with right now on the MMA Holes Live. Okay. Maybe I had too much coffee. <laughs> fuck Daryl's mom, says Carnaby. Kind of there you go. <laughs> Mike Conchal says, fuck you, dislikes. How old are you, happy days? The MMA holes might turn yes, on anyone at a moment. Uh-oh, look at it. Fuck Daryl MMA holes, <laughs> we are in the chat. <laughs> yes, Frank Pavon brings out Connor and says, fuck Daryl and his mom. Thank you. <laughs> oh, God, you guys are great. All right, so anyway. We, we do get vicious over here. And Daryl, listen, if you want to join our team, we, we could bring you to the dark side. It's fine. We, we fuck your mom first, so that's how it works over here. Alexander Gustafson is the next one on the show after Jimmy Manoa. And he's going to be talking about his win over Gl- Glover to Shara. So, um, yeah, that's going to be happening. <laughs> Frank Pavon. <laughs> Fucking Frank Pavon, man. <laughs> Uh, oh, fuck. Maybe it just came back. <laughs> I love that. It's so fucking funny. Anyway, <clears throat> sorry. I'm losing my train of thought. Oh, God. I have a little tear in my eye from the laughter right there. Anyway, Frank, you're a legend. <laughs> Frank Bavon called in Conor McGregor and told him to fuck uh, that was mom. Uh, anyway, yeah, Gustafson is next. We got to keep this party rolling. We got 20 minutes left, and uh, I got so much to talk about. Alexander Gustafson, Mr. Gustafson. Well, there is a monkey wrench in the light heavyweight division, and Alex Gustafson is the wrench. That shit got flipped upside the fuck down, and now we have ourselves some options. We have some, some options over there on the light heavyweight division. Here's my question to you guys. I feel DC is going to beat Jones in the rematch. I just see it. I see these things because I am Mystic Moss. But, um... What do you guys think? How is this going to play out? Who will win, DC or Jones? And who will get the title shot next? You got Manoa. You got Gustafson. You got this fucking guy that came out of nowhere in Vulcan. You got a lot of options now. Uh, Rumble might come back. Fucking Rumble. The guy said he retired and he says he might come back. So he might come back. What do you guys think in the chat? But I think this. I think DC is going to win. And I, I see Jones versus Gustafson in a rematch, but in a rematch, not a title fight. That's what I see. I see DC winning, Jones, Gustafson in a rematch. And for some reason, if, if Manoa could get past Vulcan and puts him away again, I think we might see Jimmy Manoa versus DC in a title shot. Now, these are my predictions. So here's the predictions, guys. DC beats Jones, Okay. Jones drops down and fights Gustafson for a chance at the belt again. And Manoa pops up and uh, fights DC for the championship. That's what I'm saying. Now, this guy fucking, uh, what's his face? Ozdemir is, uh, he's pretty good. Like, I don't know. We, I, we haven't really seen enough of him to know what he's really about. But he's dangerous. And if Manoa could get past him and put him away too... There's a good chance we might see the DC versus Manoa because this is how the UFC works. The UFC likes shit talking, and you know on the MMA hour that they're going to have Manoa shit talking with DC. He's going to bring it. So if DC can get past Jones, uh, it's going to be some good shit talking right there. And that's what I'm predicting. Now, if Jones wins, it's a whole different story. I think if Jones wins, I think Gustafson gets the rematch and the title shot. That's what I'm saying. That's what I think. What do you guys think in the chat? Let me know. 36 likes, 9 down, 60 people watching this fucker. Welcome. Who cares? Jimmy is going to lose his next fight. That's, that's possible, Daryl. It's very possible. Rumble was high as shit when he said he was getting that itch. <laughs> you know what? Well, they test him, so I don't know. Oh, man, no, don't test him anymore. He's not fighting. Yeah, you know, maybe you're right. Fuck me. Anyway, wonderful, wonderful. 
Wonderful, wonderful. There's my windows doing its thing. Uh, the reason, uh, the real question is, can the MMA hole stay sober for two hours? <laughs> I am not drunk right now. I am high on caffeine. <laughs> no scotch. No scotch going on right now. Put some Baileys in that coffee, says Ole Ole. I might. Maybe there is. MMA holes. Look at John. That sexy fuck. Welcome to the MMA holes. You made a wise choice. Watching a pee show. The MMA hour pee show. Mexican got arrested. I'm getting that itch. I am not even high yet. How the hell will DC beat Jones, says for reals. Are you mad? Here's the thing. DC fought Jones five rounds. DC did not execute his game plan when he fought Jones the last time. And that was the John Jones that was hitting his stride. He was doing his thing. He was all coked up and all that shit. This is a John Jones that's stripped down of all his vices. This is a John Jones that's trying to come back rusty. And this is a motivated DC that will follow his game plan, that will try to take John, uh, John Jones down to the floor. Trust me on this one. DC is motivated. DC may be older. DC may be weathered. But DC knows how to bring a fight and drag it to the ground. And that's what he will do this time. Mark my words. Because I am Mystic Moss. And I am mad. I'm a mad motherfucker. Uh, Minion's here. What's up, Minion? If either DC or Jones have to pull out of 214, Manoa is on the same card so that he can step in. Hmm, that's interesting. That is an interesting one. Hopefully that never has to happen. But you know what? It's possible. It's very, very possible. Max uh, runs the Recon Underground Fraternity. This is Jesus Christ. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, not for me, obviously. Jay Smooth itches on that. Codeine, says George Sampras. DC is a stud, says Olympia Low Life. No, says Craig Lee. Where is Smooth? Smooth is MIA. That's right. You can watch us back and we'll probably see him on Wednesday night. Connor B says, Jones out-wrestled DC at one point. Plus, DC has a hard weight cut. DC only has grit, weight, and wrestling. Uh, John can be more gritty and proved he can out-wrestle DC, so Jones will win in a decision. It's possible. It's very possible. I don't know, man. When Mystic Moss's mysticalness is tingling, you better fucking jump aboard. Because I've been saying the rematch, when it happens, DC is going to fucking pull it off. I just, I just have that feeling feel good about it feel strong about it but saying john jones win john jones winning this fight is not a fucking risky move because john jones could arguably be the pound for pound greatest fighter of all time so saying jones is going to win is not uh something that's very risky <laughs> craig lee's first buzz of the day the best one can we get on a guest uh like uh you had carry on wait can we get a guest like when you had carry on uh, the sh uh, the chat. Wait, what is wrong? Why can't I get through this one? Can we get on a guest like when you had carry on? The chat shit was fucking hilarious. So George Sampras wants another cuckroach on. <laughs> All right, George. If you guys want cuckroaches in our hangouts, hit me with the ones. If you want some more cuckroaches. Now, if you guys are just jumping in, remember this is the MMA holes. Well, don't remember you just. We are the MMA holes. We do weekly shows. Actually, we do three shows a week now. We do a Monday show, which is a pre-show, which we're doing right now. Wednesday, we do an after show of the Ultimate Fighter, a recap show. And uh, we talk for a good three, four hours sometimes. Friday, we do what's called Random Night, where anything and everything is talked about. We have some guests on spread out throughout the week. I have to reach out to Jason Showers, a friend of the show. We have to get him on during the week. Thursday night, I will be revealing the winner of our giveaway. So we'll be doing that as well. A lot of stuff coming up this week, so subscribe to this shit show. And you will be wonderful, wonderful as well. DC will murder a drug-free JJ, says. Happy days. George, I think Mondays are guest-free sucks cucks, says uh, Jesus Christ. Ole, 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 says Black Belt in cocaine. For real, says LOL. Jones is a piece of fucking shit. He's a legit fucking dirtbag. He can't, <laughs> he can't even hide it. Even with the media spinning him in a good light... He's a degenerate piece of shit. Now, tell me how you really feel. Wonderful, wonderful. Now, on the MMA hour, you can't get that. You can't get that. But on the MMA holes, you can. You can say whatever the fuck you want. I don't give a shit. We keep that chat rolling. All right. I meant Kerry, not Kerry. This is George Sampras. Uh, DD. You guys chase all the girls away, Marlon. <laughs> no, we'll get them back. We'll get them back. Don't worry about it. Our 7% will, will reunite 
We will re- reunite the 7% and get some women on this show. Now, hey, we got 62 watching right now. If any of you are females in the chat, hit us with the ones in the chat. Hit me with the ones. You don't have to say anything. Just drop a one in there and you keep doing what you're doing. Because here's the thing with the MMA holes. There's two types of viewers. To Actually, there's three types of people that um, partake in the MMA holes. There are the people that come on the hangouts and bullshit with us. There are people that fucking light up this phone right over here with swole, sexy comments. And then there are the third people that kind of just chill in the background, arms behind the head, eat some fucking popcorn. Well, they can't eat if their arms are behind the head. Maybe they throw it up with their toes. And just chill. Just chill out. So I welcome all you guys. Whether you're watching, whether you're hanging out in the fucking uh, cell phone, whether you're calling in, all you guys are welcome over here. So we do have females that watch. 7% of them, us are females. <laughs> A whole 7% are females. All right, let's look at what else is going on here because we're running low on time. Let's see. Roy Jones Jr. was on at 225, and I couldn't give two fucks, to be honest. But I'm assuming he's going to be talking about boxing and the GOAT, Conor McGregor, fighting Floyd Mayweather, the other GOAT, I guess you could say. So that's going to be happening with Roy Jones Jr. Um, Let's see. Let me know in the chat. Do you give a fuck or don't give a fuck? Let me know in the chat. Give a fuck or don't give a fuck about Roy Jones Jr. being on. To me, the Roy Jones Jr. part of the segment will be bathroom break. That's what it would be. Bathroom break. So let me know in the chat what you think about that. But yeah, Roy Jones, I couldn't give two fucks if he's on the MMA hour. He should go on the boxing hour. We have 10 people dying of AIDS. Two more likes, and we play the 10 more likes song, and that's right. Hey, Marlon's here. Look at that. See? There she is. She, she hears her calling. Welcome, Marlon. I hope you're wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, Mike is a Jewfin, says Ole. Frank Bavon gives the arrows up. I'm gender fluid. Yay, Marlon, says Olympia Low Life. Marlon to save the day. Marlon, fake profile. <laughs> I identify as a robot, says Mike Honcho. I identify as a Zap, zap Gorg. Sorry, man. What the fuck is a Zap Gorg? Rest in peace, Marlon. Fuck Luke Thomas, says Nightbot. Laugh my ass off, says Mike Spitz. Jesus Christ is Marlon. Resurrected. Praise God. Praise you, Jesus. <laughs> Marlon is watching a dude jack off on her screen. Oh, my God. Is that true? Well, Marlon, since you are here, we have 10 more likes. Oh, fuck. I played the wrong fucking song. That's a guest song. We have 10 more likes. There it is. Make the fucker dance for Marlon. Dicks out for Marlin! I've got 10 more likes. I've, I've got, got 10, 10 more likes. likes. I've got 10 more likes. Fuck you, dislikes. I've got 10, 10 more likes. likes. I've got 10, 10 more likes. likes. I've got 10 more likes. I hope the dislikes die of AIDS. Welcome, new subscribers. Welcome, 10 more likes. Thank you for all the likes and supports. I see, I see all of you. What the fuck? What is this? Wait, hold on. Where did that go? Oh, I lost you. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Someone said, what the fuck is this? <laughs> it's the MMA holes. It is, this is the MMA hour pre-show. So this is what I need you guys to do. After the stream is done, which we have nine more minutes, you could go in the description, you could click the link, and you could zap yourself over to the MMA hour where you could hang with the boys for Ariel Hawani. Now, Ariel Hawani has shut down his live chat. So uh, you won't be hanging with the boys. Hang with the boys. You'll just be watching the boys? I don't fucking know. Anyway, but here we go. Here's the guest list over here. Uh, Mike Concho says, fuck the MMA hour. No chat, fuck you. Now remember, slam the dislikes over there because I don't promote uh, ne negativity. But let's just, that's the only way we could get our point across for them to open up the, the fucking chat room again. They need to open up the live chat. People are like, oh, there's nothing but fucking shitheads and spammers over there. Well, then fucking don't listen to them. There is some funny, legitimately funny comments going on in that live chat. Just like over here. Just like over here. So Brian Roger says, great ratings. Yes, Brian Roger, you bring the ratings. For real says, what about DJ Thought? All right, yeah, we got to get there. I'm all over the place. I hate only having a one hour. I need like four hours to talk. Like Wednesday night, we could talk about everything. I have a million things to talk about, and I'm fucking all over the place. Anyway. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. We, Roy Jones, we gave him too much time that he deserved. Frankie Edgar, I said before, I said earlier, Frankie Edgar needs to fight 
Max Holloway. It needs to happen. I don't give a fuck about anyone else in 145. Frankie Edgar versus Max Holloway. Make it happen, Dana. All right, let's go to DJ. We have eight minutes. Holy fuck. Let's talk. Okay, so the next one is DJ uh, and Mark Hunt. All right, we're going to go to Mark Hunt real quick. Mark Hunt is the, is the last guest. Mark Hunt will be fighting Derek Lewis. Mark Hunt, Derek Lewis. I am in a gazillion percent. I need to see that in the worst fucking way because Derek Lewis is my boy. Derek Lewis, the black beast, I said was going to be heavyweight of 2017. I feel at the end of the year, by the end of the year, Derek Lewis will be fighting Steve Miocic for the strap. Mark my words. That's what I think. So Mark Hunt will be talking about that. But let's get a, let's finish the show with this. Yes, sir. Let's finish the show. Oh my God, Marlin. See ya soon. <laughs> now, Marlin. Did you see, <clears throat> excuse me, did you see on the UFC 212 stream, Frank Bavon played the Marlin donation? That's right. Frank Bavon played the Marlin donation. Down below, there's a list of donations over there. Uh, hopefully, we get Marlin to see that thing, but goddamn, that was funny. Anyway, DJ, Demetrius Johnson, Mighty Mouse. Well, he's in a little bit of hot water because he's calling out the UFC. He actually said this, and this is kind of crazy. He said when he spoke to Dana White, Dana White said that if you don't fight TJ Dillashaw, you, well, you're going to lose your division. I'm going to get rid of the 125-pound weight class. I shit you not. I did read this before the show, and I'm like, wait, what? Is this true? Could this be fucking true? How could Mighty Mouse even say something like this? So Mighty Mouse is saying, UFC, bullying. You're bullying me. Um... That's crazy. That really is crazy. Now, if Dana White really did say this, if Dana White did threaten uh, Mighty Mouse, push his fucking bald head around and said, hey, listen, listen, you little fuck. If you don't fight TJ, well, I'm getting rid of your whole weight class. I'm going to wipe out your whole fucking weight class. Is that a pimp move or is that a prick bag move? To me, I think it's a prick bag move. And I'm all about, I'm all about being a dick and cringe. But Jesus Christ, I kind of understand... Why DJ doesn't want to fight uh, Dillashaw. I get it. DJ made his point and he made it clear and it makes sense to me. I want to see DJ fight a super fight. Sure. But TJ is probably not the one that makes sense. So DJ, you're right about that one. But for Dana White to say, hey, I'm going to get rid of your weight class if you don't fight a guy. Like, what the fuck? Was he fucking with him or like, seriously? So I never look forward to watching a Demetrius Johnson interview. But today, I make an exception. I will be clicking on the link down below. I will be going to the MMA Hour and watching Mighty Mouse's interview because I am riveted by this. I need to know. Ariel Hawani, you need to grill the shit out of Mighty Mouse and find out what the fuck is going on here because this is riveting. It's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous that Dana White would say something like this. So let me know in the chat what you think about this circus. I, I mean, what the fuck? Now, Mighty Mouse versus Cody uh, Garbrandt. I get, you know, if you can make something like that happen, I get. TJ Dillashaw, there's a lot of moving parts, and it kind of doesn't really make sense for Mighty Mouse. It makes a lot of sense for TJ. Not much sense for Mighty Mouse. So I kind of get why Mighty Mouse doesn't want to do this. So let's see what you guys think in the live chat. While we wind this fucker down to the MMA Hour, in the description, you could click on over and go to the MMA Hour right after this stream is done. But I have to tickle your penises and vaginas because they don't have a live chat. I do. So... This is what we're going to do. We're going to read and see what's going on. Uh, Craig Lee says, MMA host, stay streaming, Chris. Damn it. <laughs> it will be fun. I would like to stay streaming. You know, eventually what I can do on Monday is try to do something simultaneous with the MMA hour. Stream while the MMA hour is going on. So we have our live chat going while the MMA hour is going on. So kind of watch the MMA hour. I can't broadcast the MMA hour, but we can watch it together some way. Like I do with Fight Buddies. And then have our live chat going. While that's going on, we could discuss... Everything. If you guys would like to see that, it would take a lot of fucking feedback from you. It would take a lot of stuff because the MMA hour goes for like fucking five hours. It would take a lot. So I would need this show to really fucking get the fucking ball rolling. We have, a, we have about 100 people watching right now. So it looks like we're getting there. If we could get to the point of epicness on Mondays and it's worth my while to keep this party going, well, fuck yeah. I will keep this going for the MMA hour. I would definitely do it. But we need that, that push, that pull. So in the chat right now, load me up with some ones 
if you want us to keep the stream going with the MMA hour, I need to see from you guys because we have a lot of fucks watching. Now, if you're new to the MMA holes, you need to be subscribed to find out when we're on again by hitting that bell next to it too. So subscribe, smack the bell, and you'll know exactly when we're on. We do weekly shows. We do it three times a week. Live shows, interactive shows. Here we go. Let's see the chat room. And I hope everyone's wonderful, wonderful on this lovely Monday afternoon. Wonderful, wonderful. All right. No way White can cut the whole fl uh, flyweight division. It's finally starting to build up future contenders. Yeah, this is the first time I actually give a shit. So I agree, Minion. I agree with you. Uh, so why am I the only person who calls Luke out on his, on his chat? Uh, KMX, if you call out Luke, well, you are the man because I call him out too. Holy shit. Look at the ones. Craig Lee, 25, Maddie McDaddy says one. Mike Honcho for reals. Look at this. Connor Neary, George Sampras, Frank Bavon, Minion McGrogman, Thomas Lynch. Wow. Happy Days doesn't MMA count. <laughs> Welcome, Todd Johnson, to the MMA holes. You made a wise decision joining this fun family. Uh, hmm. We rule all chats, is Mike Honcho. The, the goal here is this, and we've done this on multiple occasions. I want to take this chat room and troll other chat rooms. I want to make spread the word of this dysfunctional group of people, the MMA holes. People need to say our name. People need to fucking not talk about MMA unless they have the MMA holes name in their back of their tongues. So we are growing a fucking swole group of uh, degenerates, and I love it. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. All right. Don't be mad because I game on a 55-inch 4K just taking a shit. <laughs> and he says, you jelly? Uh, yeah, of course I am. Wonderful, I'm wonderful. very, very jelly. Sub or suffer, says Jesus Christ. MMA hour is live, and it is. Just got the notification. So, guys, this is how this is going to work. I'm winding this fucker down. Guys, thank you for watching. I appreciate the new subscribers, the donations. You guys are awesome. Everyone is awesome. This chat room is is the fucking best. Love you guys. You guys are wonderful, wonderful. Wednesday night, I will be on after the Ultimate Fighter. Doing a Ultimate Fighter recap. We'll do about a three, four hour show. So you definitely need to be subscribed to the swollenness of the MMA holes. Friday, we do Random Night. And Thursday, we announce the winner of the giveaway. If you want to know about this giveaway, UFC 212, we have a video that we did on Saturday. And it was a Fight Buddies. And it has in the description all the stuff that you could learn how to enter that giveaway for a t-shirt. And click the link down below. Time warp yourself to the MMA Hour now. Enjoy that show. And on Wednesday, let's talk about it. Let's talk about what's going on there. Thanks for watching. I appreciate all the love and all the support of the MMA Holes because you guys are a wonderful, wonderful. Subscribe right fucking now. Like this video. Jerk yourself off. Rub your clam. I'll see you on Wednesday. And always remember, don't be an a-hole. Be an M-M-A-hole.